Hello and welcome back to Fame TV. Last episode we ended on a kind of a bummer because the game just decided to stop working while we were loading, but it seems that um, it somehow managed to, you know, save at the beginning of the next turn. <clears throat> and as we can see, there are some things that happened. Um, this unit took a lot of damage. Um, this small garrison took a lot of damage as well. We have lost the uh, general with our horse uh, here, but we will get another general right now, which should be able to compensate a little bit, and we'll put the next general when we get him here. That should be fine, I think. <clears throat> now, in terms of what we want to do with the Serbian front, because I think we are going to start here. He did take a taro as well. Okay. Uh, that shouldn't be too big of a deal, I think. What we want to do first is, I think, try to um, attack this unit that has no supply at the moment. And the question is how we want to do that. Um, okay. I think the first thing we need to do is exchange these units here <clears throat> because this one we will need to repair. There's no real reason to try not to. Now what else do we want to do? Maybe he will have to go up here and hold that. If this unit wants to move out, uh, it can. I don't really care so much. So let's do this. Uh... Why can it not just move normally two turns there? Well, that sucks. So I guess we'll have to attack with this unit. Yep, did a lot of damage. When they are out of supply, they do take a lot of damage. I don't know exactly what the... Um, what the way is that it works in, but, you know... You can tell that it's really powerful. And the planes wouldn't destroy it. Which I guess is fine. These guys, I could move back. Um, just to finish off these units. I guess that we could do that. Why not? Uh, this way we can actually heal up these two units. Oh, but we forgot to, you know... That's not a big problem. It wouldn't have helped too much. Uh, where do we want to put them? Maybe here. Yeah, here seems like a good place. Because then we can easily push into this uh, area here. If we actually had any... Um, any ammunition for the artillery. It would have been good. But we don't. Maybe we should invest a little bit into the... Yeah, let's invest into producing a little bit more shells. Should be uh, should be a good thing to do. Now, what else do we want to do here? Maybe just... Hmm. Maybe just exchange these two. And maybe do some damage somewhere. Yeah, a little bit of damage done would be fine, and then we can decide what to do here. Uh, either we attack Belgrade again, but I think that might not be the best idea. So we'll leave Belgrade for now. We're going to heal up these three units, and we are going to attack here first. And... This unit should move to the Russian front, because we don't really need it here anymore. I think this will be finished easily <clears throat> with the units we have right now. I guess in that case we can even move this unit down. And, you know, maybe push somehow through here. Uh, we do need to move the um, fighters closer. 
this way we'll have a little bit more vision as well and we will be able to you know utilize them uh, on the whole front there is nothing to be used here well there is this transport ship of the British and I think we should take care of it so shoot them shoot them shoot them and the armored cruiser is this an armored cruiser yes um, we could bring this one here as well and do a little bit of damage good did we eat a lot of ammunition we didn't I feel like maybe shooting other ships doesn't really cost ammunition maybe it just costs ammunition when you are shooting land units or something I need to pay attention to that a little bit more next turn in terms of whatever is here I think um, we do want to heal up this unit and we do want to heal up this unit that being said, everything else, I think, can be used to attack. And we are going to attack pretty hard here. So, first of all, I think we'll need to do this. Cut them off. And we are going to do this to cut them off. Okay, now, wait, can't this guy continue moving out here? Are they held to their, hmm, I don't know, maybe they need to be around the cities they started in? Maybe that's a thing, it seems like here, I mean, they can attack, but, hmm. Well, in any case, what we want to do here is... Retreat with this unit. You know, repair it once. It doesn't cost anything. I guess we'll repair this one too. And then with the rest, we are going to try to do some attacking around here. See how far we can get with that. Uh, here, I'm a little bit afraid. Do we have any unit that we can plonk in there? Not really. Can I move this unit here? Nope. Can I move that unit here and move something else there? We could do that. We could also just move this one back. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's move it back. Um, you know, dig out the trenches here. And hopefully they won't be able to push through this unit with just garrisons. Now, if we look at this Russian front, there are a couple of, you know, empty spaces that we would be able to push through, but I don't think that that's necessary right now. I think what we do need to do is to bombard this cavalry unit as much as possible to be able to push it out with maybe this uh, garrison unit, and then we would be able to move up this infantry and attack the artillery again. Okay, we would be able to just straight up destroy it. I'm going to risk it. Perfect. We did manage to push it out. We are going to move in with our infantry and with the planes. We are going to do one damage first. And this is how you break up uh, the front a little bit. Now the question is, how do we fill up this front? Because I didn't think about that too much. Uh, I guess we could just try to move this unit up there. Yeah, that sounds, sounds good. Let's move this unit here. We'll see what we can do with these two. Maybe we'll need to deploy something in this area. And we do have units to deploy in this area. Uh, let's deploy both, I think, in this area. I think we will need the support. Um, 
yeah i don't think we need anything on the on the french belgian front but what else do we want to do we have a lot of units left that can attack uh, i don't think we'll attack on into the back here because they should be cut off and they will have uh, big difficulties in maintaining their supply chain so what can we do we could just you know attack wherever it seems like it's useful wherever we do more damage than the enemy pretty much um well nothing that we can attack there i don't think that we need to attack anything here This seems like a good attack, though. Doing four damage. That's good. It's perfect. Um, yeah. No point in doing anything else there. Uh, can we do any attacks here that make sense? Not really. I think we're just going to hold out there. Serbian front is done. And the fleet here is done. Okay, let's check out what we can do with our fleet against the Russians. Hmm. There is a Dreadnought. Can we attack it from two sides? We can't really. And I don't want to use my... Uh, don't want to move my submarine next to Riga because they're just going to be too strong. Okay, we do have aces. Wait, is this the... I'm not sure which turn this is anymore. Because I had the impression that I played the aces before. And we did also have another general which we could have placed. Uh, kind of missed that one as well. Uh, where would it be a good place? Maybe here? It kind of covers a lot of the units that I'm interested in. Maybe even here to, you know, help out these units that are going to be attacked from three sides, possibly. These two are the most vulnerable one. Maybe we just need to put them there. Okay, we're going to put it here. Uh, it did improve. Yeah, it did improve it a little bit. Okay, we're just going to keep it like this. That should be fine. Uh, anything else that we need to do? Not really. We can go and dedicate ourselves to the French front. Now we did have to exchange these units. This one will have to just, uh, you know, heal up, regain its efficiency, and with the rest, we're gonna we're gonna see what's up. <clears throat> okay, so how do we want to do it on this front? Seems like Brussels is a little bit easier to attack than this. Oh, because it's a it's a Belgian unit and it doesn't benefit from the from the French general. I get it, I get it. Okay. That doesn't mean that we can't attack on the whole front a little bit and I think we will use the artillery to bombard uh, this unit next to Brussels. We do have the Zeppelin as well, which can do stuff. But to be honest, I think I don't need to use it uh, on in this area right now. Might be not bad doing like some damage to garrisons and stuff. But to be honest, I think like attacking something in Belgium might be better. Hmm. I just have the feeling that we need to exchange like some units on the front here. Like this 10 unit needs to go here, he needs to go here. You can't really do that right now. So maybe we want to do this first. For a unit that we need to heal up and we are going to move this unit back up here. And I think that before we start the 
you know, focusing on Antwerp to really get that province, uh, that uh, hex, that tile, that city, we want to push through as much as possible. We don't want to just roll up the front, we want to just, you know, breach it. Now, I think that a good idea would be to just focus everything I have on this Brussels unit. Uh, yeah, we did use our artillery on the other front already. So yeah, there's no, no real reason not to do it this turn. Okay, that was a, that was a big, big push in. Oh, we could destroy it and just move in. I think anything that we attack with will destroy it, so... Yeah, let's just do that. Um, cool, we'll have a good place for the artillery to stand and attack pretty much everywhere we want around. This unit is not barricaded yet, so we could attack into it. But to be honest, I was even thinking of just healing up everything along the uh, along the front. Yeah, to me that seems like a good idea. Let's just heal everything up here and wait for a second. Um, we'll be able to push through maybe next turn with the help of the artillery and everything else here. Hmm. Mm, do we want to bring this one closer or do we want to be able to attack both sides? Maybe just attacking, I don't know, Paris would be fun. But no, uh, let's see. Light cruiser, light cruiser, nothing that we want to really deal with. There's a Dreadnought there. Okay. Interesting to see what they have around the Isles. Um, yeah, nothing really interesting happening there. Now we'll need to figure out what to do with this Dreadnought that, that the Russians have. Maybe bring my Dreadnought up to a shot. Well, it's gonna, it's gonna take damage though which is not what we wanted. Well, we did some damage. We didn't do a lot of it, though. And we kind of want the other Dreadnought to be in this area as well. Uh, let's see, where's the Armored Cruiser? Mm, I think my Armored Cruiser died. Is that it? Okay, we'll need to send the Light Cruiser towards the... Atlantic in any case to have some protection there and then we can you know just block with these units and they can't really do much perfect and this pre-dreadnought uh, we can just put it here just to have it you know on hand whenever it is needed I'm not sure that this is a good idea, but we are going to do it anyway, because I have no better ones. You need a couple more units up there, but we'll have two infantry units next turn. That's good. Do we want some more units from the Germans? Maybe it would be good to have a couple more infantry units here as well. So maybe we're gonna... Well, we don't need an Austrian. We want German infantries. Two, I think, should be enough for now. Uh, we could go for another fighter, I guess. But to be honest, I don't think that's necessary either. Uh, do we want to build something with the Austrians? I don't think so. I think the Austrians are fine as it is. Actually, maybe, maybe another infantry for them too. In terms of research, the Germans have three and one. Do we want to maybe increase the amount of labs that we have for naval? I mean, at 
does make sense that if we want to, you know, land in Britain, we will need to have a bigger navy. Maybe that would be something that's useful. Well, we don't have enough money anyway to invest in it right now. Do we have enough to invest in production of ammunition? Not really. Not really on both accounts. So I think that this is it for our turn. We can still bombard something if we really want to. I guess that wouldn't be too bad of an idea to just, you know, do some damage on some unsuspecting garrisons, make it easier to break through after. That should be fine. Um, you, do you want to attack here? Maybe you want, why not? I gambled, uh, we didn't take any damage. Uh, they should be really low right now. Yeah, I guess let's do some attacks around here. So nobody can complain that they didn't get any action. Yeah, I, I think that looks good. That looks pretty good, uh, even though he's pretty damaged, but who's gonna attack him? Maybe these guys can come in and then can attack and push. Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I think this is the end of this turn. Let's see what the AI does. Ah, the um, Austrians already lost some of their national morale, it seems. It's only at 119. I guess losing that one general was not the, you know, most glorious thing that they had happen. Okay, are they... Aha! Uh -huh. They brought in the English troop. Interesting. Interesting. What are the sergeants going to do? Just retreating and... Okay. Bringing some other units up that are not important. Cool. Let's see what the Russians are going to do, because that's interesting. Are they going to be able to, you know, empty that pocket? Probably not. They did manage to almost destroy the cavalry there. Okay. That was less painful than I thought it would be. Turkey closed the Dardanelles. Another commander was wounded in battle. Which one was it? Do I just get another... Another one of these uh, reports? I guess that's possible. Okay, there's a lot of troops here. Which I'm not, not, not happy about whatsoever. Okay, we can just destroy these, it seems. You will have to just, I don't know, go back to Krakow and heal up. Uh, you can hold out there. You can go here and heal up. You need to heal up. There's a lot of unit that needs some healing. Now, with you... Uh, what do we want to do here? I think with these units we might be able to just break them without having to take anyone from the front. Okay, okay, we'll need to think about it a little bit. Uh, let's first maybe dedicate ourselves to the Serbian front because that's the most, you know, normal one. Now, our general covers everything around this area and this general covers everything around this area. So, besides this unit and this unit, everyone has double bonuses from the general. So, these three units. Okay. Um, 
How do we want to attack? I think we want to attack in here. And try to dislodge this unit. Uh, with him, I think I might want to just push in. Okay, and after we attack with these two units, I will change them so this one can also get the benefit. Now these guys need to go down and fill the gap. That should be okay. Uh, you can just stay here, hold the line, that should be fine as well. Now let's see, how do we want to do this? Um... I think we do want to try and beat up on this unit. This unit or this unit, I guess, would be also pretty good. So maybe... I think I want this one. Uh, let's see. How do we want to do this? We need to move up. We need to move this unit down. And then we can push hard on this one. Perfect. Perfect. Hmm. Less damage than I would have wanted, to be honest. Ah, uh, yeah, we do. We are taking a lot of damage that is unnecessary because we lost this one general. If we had three of them, it would have been much easier, I think. No damage taken there and done there. Do you want to do anything? Uh, not really. I think we can heal you up. We can heal you up. Mm, you will just attack. Once more. Uh, we'll see. They cannot cycle their units forever. We are doing a lot more damage than they are. And we are threatening to break through in the south. Uh, we'll see what happens. Now with this, what do you want to do here? I think we'll bring the, the artillery here. We have pretty much three possible targets. Uh, if someone like this unit pushes in here, we'll see about that. Um, now everything else that is here. I can't really bring the infantry unit where it's supposed to go. But I can bring it... Can I move it so far? I think it only goes two tiles in each direction. So I can only get here. So let's do that. Get there. Um, kill the enemy? Almost. You can push back. Kill this enemy. I think that should be enough for whatever happens and here we just want to push in with the garrison that we will use to you know make a dent in this area of the front we do have two more infantry units that we can use I think we'll want to put at least one uh, in in Belgium somewhere because we'll need some of them here. Uh, let's put it here. Should be enough. He can go there next turn. And do his stuff. And we will need one on this front as well. Question is where? Maybe down here. Yeah, I think down there should be a good, good area. We'll be able to push in here and, you know, roll up the roll up the front. So let's see, how do we want to push into this area? First of all, I think we want to bombard this cavalry unit, maybe. Or we can just go down with the artillery and use it next turn. Yeah, let's do that. I want to be able to shoot on these four next turn. Just at the moment, 
we are going to try and beat up on this cavalry unit. Perfect. Um, we don't really want to push in though, I think. Although maybe we do want that. Let's see, let's see. Let's try to be a little bit more adventurous. How much damage do you do here? Quite some damage. Um, yeah, and let's hope that they just, they're not gonna push in through here. Though I don't really see how they would like to do that uh, efficiently. We can attack this unit as well. It seems like we're just kind of rolling over them, to be very honest. Okay, everything there seems to be destroyed. We can bring back this unit as well. Destroy this and bring the cavalry to the front. Perfect. We emptied the... Um, the small encirclement that we had uh, east of Varso. Um now we should be very, very well positioned to just push into the Russian front. We are almost able to build a coherent front. I think with all the units that we have here, we should be able to accomplish that next turn. And we're just gonna, you know, continue pushing in as far as possible. In a couple of turns, we'll get some new fighters as well to be able to reduce everything um, that is their efficiency. Yeah, I don't know exactly what to do with my um, with my subs. I'm just gonna send them out to explore a little bit in that area. Everything else that is here, I think, is in a pretty good position. I don't think I want to use my submarine right now. I think it will need to be repaired. But let's see if we can do some damage with the Dreadnoughts. Um, I'm not gonna place both of them here because this unit will just kind of hack me to pieces. But we are going to be able to use this Dreadnought to just continue doing some damage. There's another Dreadnought here. Yeah, we will be able to rotate them in and out if we see any necessity for that. And I'm gonna put the pre-dreadnought here because even if this one attacks me, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Mm. We can rotate these out, destroy this one. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think that is fairly fine. Yeah, nothing else that we really need to do here. Uh, we could attack once here, but to be honest, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't really want to attack anywhere else. Can't really heal everything that I want to heal. Maybe I should heal this unit? Not sure. We will think about that. Now let's go and dedicate ourselves to the Belgian front. Although, as I uh, look at the amount of time I've spent for this episode, I think we'll need to take a break here and just continue the round next turn. So, see you. Bye.